Don't lose a finger, Mitch. What a savage. This would have been a better release. Yes! You just kind of... That was a big fish. You guys see that? What is going on guys? Victor here. I am joined today with Brooke and you guys have seen Topwater Trev in the past before and guess what we're doing? We are finally, finally shark fishing. I've talked it up so much. Let's get to paddling some baits out. What we got going on for bait today, you guys saw all the jacks that we kept at the inlet. Well, like I said, we're using it for shark bait. We don't let anything go to waste. This is no different than using a gog for a sailfish, a valley hoo for a snapper. Bigger baits, bigger fish, same principle. But what I like to do is, I don't really like to leave the tail section on. I don't really think it matters. It's kind of just a superstition. And another thing is I brought a uh, surf rod to try to catch black tips on. So I'm gonna get rid of this tail piece right here, use it for black tip bait as well. So this is going to be your whole bait? That is the whole bait. Something I'm experimenting with that I've never used before is a spider weight. Don't laugh at me, this is my first time making it. Just some copper wire. And the principle behind this is instead of a brick, this is going to slide on your line. And when you come tight with your line, it'll dig into the sand. A lot of people say it works. It definitely beats bringing bricks out here and just having to make all those leader lines and stuff. Carrying bricks to the beach was just not fun. And then when a shark takes it that way, it'll set out of the sand and then it's just dangling on your line. And that's all there is to it. So it's on my shock leader right there. Down all the way over here to the other end of your wire. Now we hook our bait. And the hook I'm using now, this is a 16-0 Mustad Demon perfect circle. I used to use the 20-0s, but I'm experimenting with these. Just trying new things out, you know? Every year, I like to experiment with something different. So we set that guy right there, not too deep in the meat. So it'll pull out easily and nicely, but at the same time, it's not in there shallow enough to where it's just gonna rip out on its own. I'm letting it go out slowly but keeping tension because if I don't and I let it, let it go out fast, we're gonna have a ton of slack in the line. And if you have a ton of slack in the line, it allows seaweed to get stuck on your line. It's stuck in the current a lot more if you have seaweed on the line too. First kayak trip, still remember how to do it. Didn't flip, nothing bad happened. And Brooke initially set the spider weight, you didn't think it was set very well, did you? Honestly, no, it wasn't like how a brick normally sets and it's just like automatically tight. Now it's a lot tighter than when I first set it. And I hope, because I do not want to carry one more damn brick to the beach ever again. Bait number two going out with the one and only Farmer Brown and Brando Mailman, who actually, me and Brando caught these jacks together. Indeed. I'm a saying. Let it lay and watch it pay. That's what go. I always say. Is it going? Is it going? Yeah. <laughs> oh my. I'm about Dude, to go. we're about to get tight, y'all. I'm about to go. Dude, oh, let it go. Wait, let oh, it go, let it go. He's going to come back. He's going to come back. Next, next time he, he gives a little chow, give him some chow time and... Lock her up. Oh, it's he swimming in, it's swimming he in, it's swimming in. He's swimming, he's swimming. Go, go, go. Give it to him, baby. Give it to him, give it to him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you got cut, dude. That was weird. You got cut, dude. He was probably standing so No, he did. Was he on the whole time? Yes. Probably. Yeah, yes. He swam yeah. through his line. Huh. Yep. See how it goes from like, here's the actual diameter of it. And then it goes slowly oh, to okay. right there. So these guys said they're never fishing here ever again. 15 no. minutes later, Mitchell gets a oh, bike. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> Can you get your harness? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Mitchell, this is the one. Dude, this is the Dude, one. It... <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Oh, oh, crap. Look at the jump I got him. I got him. I got to go get strong. That's a hammerhead. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yes. That's all I ask. Yeah. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> yes. I'm going Where pretty, you going, Mitchell? pretty high on the you old jump. Into the water? Yeah, I almost did. <laughs> We're tight, son. I might go to Disney World to be honest with you. <laughs> That's a pretty legit run. Yeah. I don't think it's a black tip. Guys, nothing gets your heart pounding more than the sound of this at night. In the middle of the pitch black, you're all sitting down there and talking. It wants And to it's pull. like the cry of hell. If we were ready to go. <laughs> 10 minutes ago, this guy saying, I'm never fishing here ever again. I just, I just cracked open my Red Bull. I was ready. <laughs> there it is right there. Looks like Ooh! It looks like a hammer. It's a hammer, it's a hammer it's buddy! A hammer. Woo -hoo! Oh, All right, keep them right here. Don't leave them right here. Oh, he's coming right down. Tell Mitchell to come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. I got it. Hey, 
wire's cut. Just, no, don't get the hook. It's almost out. It's almost out, bro. Don't lose a oh, finger, Mitch. Mitchell. Mitchell, don't, don't just let him go. No, I'm no. telling you that hook will come out. It's almost out. Okay, Mitch, you got it. You what got a it. savage! Wow. What a savage! No, well, you're Rick. You're Rick. You're at the barb. Here. Oh, yeah, the out. Out. Hey. Out. Let's go. I got it. Farmer Brown! This is Trevor's first time first shark time. fishing. What do you think? I'm pretty, I'm pretty, that was awesome. That was freaking awesome. My boy, that was freaky. My boy was all up in that mouth, cleaning cavities, everything. You name it. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Hey, when you buy a $12 hook, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. I'm not trying to lose that hook right now. Yeah. You mean you don't want to lose a shark with a piece of jewelry is what you're yeah. trying to say? <laughs> Politically correct answer. We do not bring these fish up on the beach. We left this fish in the water the entire time. We didn't hit dry sand. We didn't time. hit dry no, sand. We want we want to leave their body elevated in the water. We want that water in their gills. And especially now more than ever, there's been so many hammerheads and sharks washed up. You guys, land-based shark fish, you guys want to keep doing this sport for years, just like we enjoy it. Don't give people the fuel they need for the fire to shut this down. You know, fish a reel that you can put out enough drag to stop fish. Like that was a small one. You caught you know? that thing in seven minutes. Seven minutes, and then. Keep them in the wash. We got lucky. Tonight's, you know, it's low tide right now. We're working like ankle deep water, so it's convenient. Cut the hook. If the hook is loose, try to take the hook out. And... It's like, oh, that's a hammer. <laughs> this is what we live for. You see that sickle fin breach the water. It's like, oh, it's... we can see from here. This light shining all the way to the water. I saw that fin come up and I literally was like, Mitchell! <laughs> oh, that grind! <laughs> oh. oh, it's on, it's on, it's on. It just jumped. It's jumping. Yeah? Yeah, it's Watch jumping. It. He's oh, oh. Jeez. He's gone. No, he's, no, he's still gone. there. He's just jumping. He's pissed. Yes. I'm a stall. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a stall, y'all. Oh, it's just another mic. Dude, bitch. Yes! Bit, you better get tight. It's a good night. <laughs> oh, damn. We might get that. It went. <laughs> it went. It's gone. No. So what happened was, this is the surf rod, I casted out a little chunk of um, jack tail on the black tip rod. I just walked out there as far as I could and tossed it out there and it got picked up pretty damn fast. But it looks like everything broke. So let's uh, diagnose what happened. What the? Oh, uh, it got cut right here. Either it broke right at the swivel, I think it got frayed off. It looks like he caught me right there. That was where my wire was. Most likely just frayed off on its tail. Rig up, try again. <laughs> time! Chow time! Oh. Bait's there. For sure. Yeah, bait's there. Yep. It's back, it's back. Baller status, dude. We're gonna let him go for 15 seconds. Let him go for a ride. One. Oh yeah, baby. I think you're tight. Uh, get real. I there think we're you tight. Go. Oh, Victor, Victor, you're on, bro. We're on. Straight on like Donkey Kong right now. I'm in low gear and can't reel. Oh, Donkey Kong. Up, up, yeah. oh, he's gone, he's gone. You got <laughs> a good one. No you got a good one. Wait. Uh oh, is he gone? No, it's just. You guys know how I preached long ago about the whole Senators and 14Os. Well, guess what? 14Os are great reels, but 21st century. If you could get your hands on a two speed reel like this, two speed reel is so nice. Reeling in with a 14O takes forever. I think the fish was on there and I think it pulled. It was tight for a second and then it dropped it and then it was me reeling in my bait all the time. So this is what I thought happened. It was ended up being just the bait. You guys saw how we got tight and the rod doubled over. What'll happen is it's that verge of whether that hook's gonna pull or not and it didn't pull and then you never wanna get slack on it so I just kept reeling and reeling and then it just, it's this giant spider weight dragging through the sand. I think I'm gonna paddle this bait back out. You guys see it got absolutely mutilated. That was a big fish. You guys see that the mouth it wasn't, it's not a little mouth like that. It extends wide ways. Well, Victor didn't even get back from his paddle and he already got picked up. You have to turn the microphone on. I just got back. I got back and I saw everyone scrambling towards my rod. And oh, he's there, he's there. He's munching it. You know what I was thinking of? There yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah, we're up. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, on hook fold, I think. Definitely. Yeah? Yep. Yep. This is the shock leader that we fished, that 400 pound, and it got cut right there. Chances are you did not hook a 30 foot shark and it swallowed everything. What probably happened is, you gotta remember it's so far out there and these sharks just go in and out. 
probably got wrapped around him and when I came tight, either it got wrapped on his body and got cut or it got in his mouth somehow, but that's what happened. It sucks, we ran out of bait and we have gotten non-stop hits tonight. So we got a couple more little baits to cast out on the, on the stall, see if we could get a black tip, but other than that, we've had a great time. It has been a very productive night. That bait was out there for three minutes. I walked it out there and Mitch was in the water. It was, it was running across my line, running across my legs. Round two, you're getting cooked. Yeah. How long was that bait out there? Not long at all, a couple <laughs> minutes at most. That's how it's been all night though. You weren't even back paddling out that one bait and you already got eaten. There's so many sharks here. <laughs> <gasps> keep reeling, really keep reeling. Sometimes it's I don't just think like so. No. That means it was wrapped around its body and it's like, you guys see this squiggle? It's probably because it was wrapped around the shark's body and then it got closer and closer and closer to this line and it probably cut it with its mouth right there. And this is like 350 pound test. This is heavy duty stuff. So sometimes you can't, they just get wrapped around. Black tips spin a lot. They do yeah. crazy maneuvers. So we're going to get another one out there. I forgot to hit that fast. Oh yeah. Were you on that whole time? No, I was just keeping my line up there because if I bring it all the way up here, it sits too low in the surf and then it'll not spin. Shark this is honestly, the, this is the fifth one on this, <laughs> at least. Fifth one on this, and we finally got it to stick, <laughs> and hopefully it doesn't break off. That's all though. That's too... Check out that sick new Grunnens jacket. I love it. Eat fish, wear Grunnens. This shark is trying to beach itself. She's literally running like parallel. guys so much for watching this video and if you guys don't like shark fishing by now then I have no idea what's wrong with you because this is one of the most exciting things. Trev what'd you think for your first time? That was awesome. I'm, I can't wait to do it again. The light's blinding yeah, you isn't it's, it? It's blinding me pretty much. <laughs> Aside from the light blinding you, you had a good time? No it was all, I didn't even fish. I didn't even fish and I'm not one to like sit and watch people fish and have fun and, and I had a blast. I learned a lot. Yeah. Mitch back here he got tight. Congrats on that hammer. Indeed. First hammer of the season. Ham Hopefully. Sandwiches dinner y'all this down. kid's crazy guys this kid was like this crazy absolutely I, crazy he Not, was no other words to describe it than crazy <laughs> no his hand was curled up underneath that hammerhead's head and he's just feeling he, it out he did say the whole reason he did it was to get his hook back which he ended up taking it out and then he lost it anyway so that wasn't the real reason at least, at least the hook is not in the hammerhead's mouth like, yeah. think of the upside yeah. here yeah. the hook is gone but the, your hands the, are still there hands are still there i have all 10 fingers but the hammerhead doesn't have a hook in its mouth which is a plus and but, he swam off really well yeah. we didn't take him out of the water and we didn't even have them in the water when we actually had them for more than what a minute yeah. getting the hook out and then we just let them right back out and he swam away perfect 30 seconds tops yeah That's kind of been good. a better release so i'll be seeing all you guys my land sharks in that next video thank you guys once again for watching the video and if you guys haven't subscribed what the heck you doing subscribe right now hit that button y'all hit that button one last thing guys if you are not subscribed to brooke over here her channel will be somewhere on the screen as well as topwater trip this guy's got a really uh, amazing passion for fishing my new friend good friend so you guys check him out his channel will be in the description box below until that next one guys Do you feel the